Well, for today's video, I'm going to be doing a very Cobra Kai inspired makeup look. Peyton List plays Tori Nichols, and she's honestly one of my favorite characters from the show. Um, specifically, season three, The House Break In. I'm going to be recreating that look right here. With that being said, let's get started right now. First things first, I'm going to apply the MAC Longwear Concealer. This is my first time with this concealer. I actually recently bought it and I've pretty much fallen in love with it. It lasts all day and the coverage is really strong. I also paired it with the MAC Studio Fix Foundation with SPF 15 in it and I just blended that all across my face. You guys know I can never part with my Laura Mercier powder. Of course, in translucent, I'm also blending that in with a little cotton ball. Once everything has pretty much been blended, Peyton List has a pretty round face, quite like myself. So I'm just going to do my normal contour with my Hoola bronzer up around my cheekbones and down the bridge of my nose. Next, with the lilac shade of my Revolution Beauty highlighter, I'm going down the bridge of my nose, the tip, my cupid spell, and my cheekbones. All right guys, come on, trust the process. I'm gonna take my lace blush and just apply that to my cheekbones ever so slightly. And my Urban Decay Primer Potion, always, always, always apply that before doing any eyeshadow. And with my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush, we're gonna fill in the gaps of the brows. Left that clear gel on there and they are good to go for the day. Next, we are taking my favorite Tarte palette Make Waves Be A Mermaid palette and with Sandbar I'm going to apply all across my lid with a fluffy brush and make a little outer V at the corner oh, and underneath just a little bit. I'm going to take Fantastic on an angle brush and do the same. Adding that all the way in my crease followed by the dark shimmery shade in the palette called Cavern which I'm just doing a quick little outer V. This will add much more dimension to my eyes just like Peyton List. Mermosa is the gold shimmery shade. I'm going to use that as a highlight on my lid and to highlight the brow bone. Tori's eye makeup didn't have any eyeliner, but she did have this blue shadow. So I'm taking Splash and I'm just gonna apply that where I would put my eyeliner technically. I also noticed that her lash line was darker, so I'm taking Shipwreck and I'm just blending that matte color in. Here at Cosmetics has my favorite eyeliner. I'm gonna do a quick line and then curl my lashes. Still obsessed with the Lash Idol Mascara, that's what I'll be using. And Tori doesn't really have any false lashes, at least it doesn't appear like it from the photo. But I was gifted these wonderful Lily Lashes in Strip Down. They're everyday faux minks and they're absolutely wonderful. I think they really bring out the eyes, especially if you have round eyes like myself. And voila! Last but not least, I'm going to apply Princess Incognito and the Cherry Bomb Lip Gloss from Victoria's Secret and MAC. Curl your hair and there you have it. You have your very own Tory look and you're ready to go kick some butt. Oh, and did I mention? No mercy. And that concludes my Tori Nichols Cobra Kai makeup look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and be sure to leave a like if you are also a Cobra Kai fan and comment below if you'll be watching season five. I know I will be and I'm super ecstatic and who knows, I might come back again with another Tori look. Also, be sure to check out my TikTok. I made a bunch of Tori videos just for the fun of it because why not, you know? Um, and if you have any suggestions for makeup looks, let me know. I'm always looking to try new things. Thank you so much again for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!